I'm Robin Higgins, and this is how to identify the charge of an ion. So there's a few different types of ions. Let's take a look at each and how we're going to figure out the charge. So one type is that it's just one atom. And it's not a transition metal. So right here in the middle, this is our transition metal area. And uh, this is the section of the periodic table where you can't immediately identify ion charge. So let's assume that our first atom is not. So let's just say it is a chlorine ion. And how are we going to figure out its charge? Well, we just have to find our atom on the periodic table and figure out what group it's in. So chlorine happens to be in group 7 here. The groups are labeled like this. And whatever group it is indicates how many valence electrons it has. And remember that each atom wants to get to eight valence electrons. So right now, chlorine has seven, and it's going to become eight. So if it's an ion, it has eight already, which means that it has one more electron than it has in a neutral charge. So a chlorine, a chlorine ion, or chloride, is going to have a charge of negative one because it needed to add 1 to 7 to get to 8. Let's take a look at like the opposite example. So how about magnesium? Now magnesium is in group 2, which means it has two valence electrons. And instead of adding 6, so we're not going to say magnesium 6 minus, we're going to simply remove the 2. So we're going to say it has magnesium 2 plus, because if it has two valence electrons, if it loses those two, it'll go back to having eight at the next row below it. So another type of ion is a transition metal. And these are a lot easier because they'll just tell you by Roman numerals. So if you ever see this, iron with a little three in parentheses, this means that you have an iron atom with a three plus charge. And the last type of ion is something that has more than one element, or more than one atom. So for instance, chromate. And you would just learn what chromate is by memorizing it. It's chromium, four oxygens, and it has a charge of two minus. And there's whole tables and lists of named compounds that are ions, and you just have to memorize those charges. So these are the three different types of ions and how to identify their charges. I'm Robin Higgins, and this has been How to Figure Out the Charge of an Ion.